Almost 9,000 times a day, someone in Washington state throws out a cell phone that could have been repaired. They're so complex, they can't be fixed without secret codes, proprietary tools, and parts that are available only from the manufacturer, if at all. It's a situation that's given rise to what's called right-to-repair legislation in several states, including Washington. Representative Mia Gregerson's right to repair bill died in last year's short session, but she's renewed the fight here in 2023. We've really tried to work with manufacturers to put together legislation that can be replicated around the country since the federal government's asking states to do this work. And so ours is really focused on electronic devices, cell phones, things that our schools are going to really need to be able to use for our kiddos. But hopefully in the future, we're going to look at wheelchairs, farm equipment, uh, medical devices, and more. Gregerson, a Democrat from SeaTac, says passage of the bill will allow independent repair shops and ultimately anyone else to access the tools, techniques, and repair knowledge currently controlled by manufacturers of the covered devices. In Olympia, Dan Frizzell.